In this video, we are going to walk you through the setup of your photosphere. Your photosphere comes with the photosphere itself, a network cable, a plug, and of course, the hard drive storage. Your photosphere may have the hard drive already pre-installed and pre-formatted. If it isn't, it's really easy to put in. So we can pull this lever out and slide the tray out, pull off the railing here, on both sides, place the hard drive in there, and then you can line up the holes with the um, holes for the hard drive. Put the plastic trays back in place. And then slide it into your photo strip. Push it in and close that door and you're set to go. Next, we're going to plug in the network cable into the backside of your photosphere and into your Wi-Fi router or Wi-Fi extender or any other internet router. Then we're gonna plug it into the wall. So we'll plug the power into your photosphere and then plug it into a wall outlet. And that's it. We're ready to go. We're ready to connect to the phone app. So next you're going to make sure your phone app is downloaded and ready to go. Now that you've connected your Photosphere into the internet and into the power, it's time to connect your phone. Open up the Photosphere app and agree to the terms. Enter in your email address for the primary account. Agree to the terms of service and obtain an email verification code. Now the email verification code is a one-time code and it's already here. So let's go ahead and type in that code. Now we're going to tap on add. Well, first we're going to uh, allow it to uh, connect to the clipboard. Tap on add, and then we're going to tap start searching. We have to allow it to connect to devices on our network, and it automatically finds your Photosphere connected to your network already. So tap on OK. And that's it. You're connected. So here we're going to allow permissions for the camera and allow full access to your photos and videos. Um, here's a message that says that it supports searching for albums quickly. You can get, uh, tap on that to dismiss it. And then the first thing we're going to do is choose our backup settings. Tap the edit button and then tap enable automatic backups. And this is going to ask to access your contacts. If you are backing up your contacts, you definitely need to cl click OK. If you don't need to back up your backups, you don't need to uh, allow that. And that's it. This is going to back up everything that's on your phone already for photos and videos. And anything that you take from now on will be automatically backed up. So we can go back to the home page. And you can see here that it's asking you to invite others to share photos. Don't use this to add more devices that are on your primary account. This is for inviting sub-account users to shared albums or to just back up their device under a sub-account. So I'm gonna tap the X um, and we can manage guest accounts later. So the next video is going to show you how to connect other devices, phones, um, tablets, and computers. Um, and I just wanted to point out here, you can see that the uh, status bar here in the middle is showing that it, photos are being backed up. So it's very easy to connect to your first device. So join me in the next video uh, about connecting your other devices. Thanks for joining me.